this is Gwen from Hair Bow Supplies Etc. Today we're going to make a felt bow tie. This is a super easy project to make. So this felt bow tie, what you'll need to do is uh, you'll need a piece of um, rectangular felt. So I got that at the local craft store. And then you'll need to cut your felt into three different pieces. This piece is one and a half inches by six inches long. This piece is one and a half inches by four inches long, and this piece is one half inch by four inches long. Get some hot glue and an alligator clip and let's get started. Take your long piece of felt, and then you'll take it and fold it in half and crease it. Open it back up, and at your crease, we'll put some hot glue. Then take your right side and fold it over to the middle, your left side and fold it over to the middle. So this part is going to be your back and then you'll flip it to the front and then take your center and then pinch it together. So you have your bow beginning right here. So at that pinch, we'll go ahead and put some hot glue. And just pinch back together. Now that your piece is dried, you want to take this top and fold it back to the center. Find your crease, put some hot glue and then fold it back. So take the bottom and you'll fold that back as well, all the way back to this edge here. Make that crease and then add your glue and pinch that back. So this is the back and this is the front. So it's really a simple project to make when you want to use felt, I've started to really like using felt because it seems so very versatile and there's just so many things you can do with it. Um, I love making the little hair bows with it and it means just a million things. We're about to do another um, video. Our next video is about to be a rolled flower. So stay tuned for that one because that'll be a felt video as well. So there's your basic bow. So put that to the side. So take your next piece and what we'll do is we'll make our tails with it. So you just take the ends and fold them in half and crease them. And then we're gonna cut on an angle to make our tail. And go just like that. And then go on the other side, fold it in half. and then you've got your tail. Then you will do the same thing. We're going to pinch the center. So we're going to do the same thing and go ahead and make our bow here with it. Pinch your center, add a bit of glue. Just a little dab. If you do too much, then it'll show on the outside of the bow. And you pinch and hold that till it dries. Fold the, this part back. Add a dot of glue. Fold this center back again. Open that back up and then put some more glue here. And then fold that back to your center and pinch. So it's a lot easier when you have the felt bow to go ahead and make your creases um, when you have the you know fabric or your ribbons, a lot of times you have to do sewing, so this is a great no-sew method. Get your hot glue one more time and put some glue right over the top, and then we'll put your bow right on top here. Make sure that that's nice and centered. Lastly, you'll take your alligator clip and your half-inch piece, and we'll go ahead and get started on the back here. So add a bit of glue here on the back. Put your alligator clip right over the top, and keep it pinched open. While it's pinched open, put a little bit more glue over the top and then put your felt right over the top. Now you can close that safely. Take your felt and wrap it over the top and the front of your bow and then bring it back around the side. Put some down underneath and put that top part here and then wrap that on around. Make sure there's no glue hanging out the side so that it doesn't get caught in your alligator clip. Trim your edge. 
and then just add the last bit of glue here and secure that down. So we're just about done. So you just want to fluff that bow up a little. So I just stick my little pinky finger in and fluff that up. Make sure that that's right and everything is straight and that's about it. So I appreciate you guys watching this video with me. I hope y'all have a great day and thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and stay tuned for the next one. So y'all have a great day. Thanks.